Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, including topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! Let's have another trivia! Did you know that when you shake someone's hand, you also transfer bacteria along with it? In total, you have about 1.8 square meters of skin, and more than 1.5 trillion bacteria live on it. So dapat palagi tayong mag-iingat. These bacteria are too small to be seen using our naked eye. Thus, scientists or we need to use a microscope. For today's Shensha Amazing episode, we will be talking about the microscope, including its parts and the function of each part. It is an instrument that can magnify or enlarge the image of objects, katulad ng mga bacteria at other microorganisms. In the laboratory, we commonly use a compound light microscope. Ito ay isang compound microscope. Why is compound microscope called compound? This is the reason why. Because it consists of two kinds of lenses. First, an ocular lens, then objective lens. We will know more about these parts by discussing the parts and functions of the microscope. Let's start from the top. Ocular lens or eyepiece. It is what you look through at the top of the microscope. Dito tayo tumitingin para makita yung image na formed in the microscope. Next, we have the body tube. The body tube is what connects the ocular lens, yung eyepiece, yung tinitingnan natin, and the objective lenses. Saan do makikita ang objective lenses? On our next part. We have the revolving nose piece. From the word alone, it revolves and holds the objective lenses in place and allows it to revolve o para umikot. If you want to change the objective lens na ginagamit mo, you just turn the revolving nose piece, the objective in use. we have the objectives. Objectives are the primary optical lenses used to magnify an object. Ito yung key kung bakit na magnify ang object ng isang microscope. We have two commonly used objectives, the LPO and HPO. LPO stands for Low Power Objective while HPO stands for High Power Objective. If you can notice, mas clear ang image sa HPO. So if you want an overview of the specimen first, you use the LPO. But you want more details, you just change to HPO. Next part, we have the arm. The arm is what connects the body tube to the base. At ito yung hinahawakan natin together with the base para hindi masira yung microscope whenever we carry it from one place to another. Next, the stage. The stage is where the specimen to be viewed is placed. Yung specimen, ilalagay natin siya sa glass slide. Pagkatapos, yung glass slide, ilalagay natin sa stage. Our next part helps hold the specimen in place. 
the stage clips holds the glass slide in place para hindi maging shaky or para hindi ma-disorient yung glass slide natin while we are viewing the specimen in the microscope. Another part is the iris diaphragm or simply diaphragm. It controls the amount of light reaching the specimen. The iris diaphragm is essential to have enough light to view the specimen. Another part is the light source or illuminator. From the word alone, it is the source of light typically located at the base. In common laboratories, they use a mirror as their light source. They use natural light to illuminate the object or the image formed in the microscope. Then, we also have the coarse adjustment knob or CAK. Kaya siya tinawag na coarse kasi makapal yung knob na ating infinitor. What is the purpose of the coarse adjustment knob? It brings the object into approximate focus by raising, tataas, and lowering the stage. Kapag mas gusto mo na mas malapit yung image sa'yo, you just raise the coarse adjustment knob. But if you want na mas malayo, you just lower it. Usually, yung coarse adjustment knob is used in pair with the fine adjustment knob because this part brings the specimen into sharp focus. Yang fine o yang maliit o manipis na knob, we turn it para maging high o maging sharp yung focus ng image na at nakikita. Hindi siya blurry. Instead, we have high resolution. Then lastly, we have the base. The base is used for support to all the parts of the microscope. Ito din yung hinahawakan natin kasama yung arm in order to carefully carry the microscope whenever we need to transfer it from one place to another. It's good time! That ends our discussion about the parts of the microscope. You will have a short quiz para malaman natin if you can still remember these parts.
time's up, let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1. It is held, hinahawakan, together with the base when carrying the microscope. Ano yung kapares ng base? We have the arm. Next, it brings the object into approximate focus by raising, inataas, and lowering the stage. Remember, approximate focus lang, hindi sharp focus. This is the coarse adjustment knob. While the fine adjustment knob is for the sharp focus. Number 3. This part is where you mount the specimen. The answer is the stage. This is where you mount the slide containing the specimen. Number 4. It provides support for the microscope. Yung nasa baba is called the base. Number 5. This is where you look into the microscope. It is the eyepiece or ocular lens. Kindly comment your scores in the comment section below. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Like and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!